where is it? You haven't done it again. You did this to me yesterday. Oh. I know. I know. <laughs> Hello. 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 Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I did say this was a 10 out of 10, but it's got egg in it. <laughs> What's, What's up, guys? guys? And welcome back to another video. Today we are in Seoul and we're going to be trying some traditional street food at Gwangjang Market. We have never tried Korean food before. Never. <laughs> it's going to be an adventure. <laughs> If you watched our vlog yesterday, you'll see that this one got told off in the park for napping. So no napping tonight at the market, okay? <laughs> so about a year ago back home in London, we was watching a Netflix show called Street Food Asia. And we was really inspired by this woman's story and her story's right here. So we're gonna try and, try and find her and then try her food and let you know how it is. <laughs> I don't know these people work here. So hot. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, ready to order? No. Um, no. Two down. minutes. Okay. Two minutes. <laughs> I think you have to tell them because it's so busy. You have to tell them first what you want. <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know any of this food. Oh, these were the dumplings. Yeah, maybe this. I think that one. Is that it? Oh no, there's more. One, this one please, and one, what, do you want to try something else? How many dumplings do you get? I don't know, we can, six, six. we can share. Six, we can share. Okay. Yeah, and uh, this one? Do you want a mix? A uh, mix, yeah, thank you. Oh. Ria is yet to master chopsticks. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to ask for a So, point. yeah, she's gonna ask for a point. <laughs> We've sat down, we're gonna try two types of dumpling and some homemade noodles. Noodle soup. Yeah, noodle mm. soup. We'll let you know how it is. Mm. London doesn't have much kimchi, but here with every meal, we've read online that they always serve it. So we've got meat, I believe, and kimchi dumplings and a noodle soup. So we're going to give it a go and let you know how it is. This is our first time ever trying Korean food, which is crazy. Good? That's really good. Yeah? I know. I know. I know. I know. Wow. I know. Okay, I'm gonna try the kimchi one now. Yeah, let's do it together. Let's do it. I think it's good, but not as good as the meat. I preferred that. You preferred that one? Really? Yeah. Well, that's good, because there's one more of each, and yeah. I'm gonna have the meat. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Hello. 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 Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have a friend. Yeah, YouTube. Say hello. Mm. What's your rate? 10. 10 out of 10. Absolutely amazing. So next we're going to try the noodle soup. It's nice, but it just doesn't really have any taste. Mm. Okay. Maybe we should add some soup. It's a bit, um, it kind of tastes like if you're from Europe, you'll know this more, but like a plain pasta in the water. Now when you've just cooked a pasta and you leave it in the water. <laughs> People are probably laughing at us because we're using a spoon to eat noodles. <laughs> what do you think? Mm. What would you rate it? It tastes like something you'd eat when you were sick. Yes. You know, like if you're not feeling that well when you, you can't, can't handle stomach. flavour. Yeah. yeah. Tastes like that. Pleasant, but Pleasant. I probably wouldn't get it again. Oh, very yummy, very good. Oh, so, yeah. thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> 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 Bye. Okay, so this still has lemonade, which we had the other day and it was absolutely unreal, so I'm going to get it again. Maybe you should try something else. Strawberry aid? What do you think? 
lemonade. Give me a lemonade. Lemonade. Hello. One lemon, one strawberry. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know if she's going to do strawberry lemonade, but that would be quite good as well. Yeah. Yeah. So they don't have strawberries, so just one lemonade one to share. Lemonade. This looks good. But I think it might have just been lemon sprite. Thank you. Thank you. That's not Sprite, is it? I needed this right now. I don't know if you can tell the sweat on my forehead, but it is hot. Yeah. Just walk past this place and it smells really good. It's a mung bean pancake and it looks and smells really good, so we're going to get one and try it. <laughs> no, yes. Oh my gosh. Sam, where is it? You haven't done it again. You did this to me yesterday. Thank you. Oh, one oh, two. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so I would rate this, I'd give it a nine at first, but as you start to eat it, it actually gets worse, which is really weird. Um, I think it's because it's really oily, but it's nice. So I can imagine it to be good for hangover food. Mm. It's like crispy Real on the outside. food. Yeah, definitely. It's like crispy on the outside, inside's really soft. And it's kind of got like an oniony garlic taste, but not too much. What would you rate it? I'd give it an eight. Yeah. But it's a lot of oil. Yeah. And it's kind of goes everywhere. Mm. But I think I can eat this once a month or once every six months. Yeah. So yeah, not not the healthiest option. <laughs> so after that pancake, we need another drink. So we're getting another lemonade. And this time I won't drink all of it. No, you will not. I love it. You're gonna do dry all. So we've only had three dishes so far and two drinks, and we're already really full. So we're gonna try and pull something else in for you guys. So subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. Make sure you subscribe because we're dying here. We're already full. I will never get my head around how anyone can eat octopus. I know it's really popular here, but how? Like the tentacles and stuff. Wait, I will not be trying it. I'm sorry. Just can't. Just can't. Next to me is one of the more shocking stalls that we've seen. They've got all different types of meat, but the part of the meat that we wouldn't usually eat in England. So they've got pig's feet, chicken feet, blood sausage, and yeah, quite a lot of things. We're not actually going to try this stall, but this is apparently a popular Korean dish. So maybe if you come here, you'll want to try it. <laughs> I think we're going to try one last thing and maybe then some dessert. And I think we're going to go for this one, stir fried rice cake, because we've seen a lot of people eating it. So yeah, this must be a Korean dish. <laughs> So this is a rice cake mm. and a lot of people around here have been eating it. So we assume that it's very popular. So yeah, let's give it a go. <laughs> So this is literally, if you can imagine, a piece of rice, but huge mm. and kind of overcooked with sauce. That's what it reminds me of. Mm. The sauce is really the good. The sauce is good, yeah, but really good. I don't it's, like the texture. It's like a tomato-y sort of garlic. Chili. Yeah, chili. It's a good sauce. Really good sauce. But it's for me, it's the texture of the um, the rice cake there. Yeah, it's yeah. not for me. I'd mm. give it a two. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> Thing is, the flavour of it's nice. It's the texture, isn't it? Mm. Oh, a little octopus. They're only little. I want to let them go back in the sea. Let's 
Let's go. So in yesterday's vlog, we mentioned that the people don't really smile here, but after being more than a day here, we realized they do. Yeah. And they're really, really friendly and really, really friendly. respectful. And they always say hello and they always offer to help. So yes, we were wrong. But first I impressions think, were wrong. I think they're just a little bit shy at yeah. first. Whereas we've been in Southeast Asia and everyone's just like in your face, like, hey, like, how are you, bro? Like, but here they're more timid. And then once they, when, once you sit down, they're like really friendly. Apple mango ice blokes. What do you think? Do it. It says it'll taste better if I mix it. Shaved ice with apple and mango. Mm. I was not expecting it to be this good. Oh, that is my idea of a perfect dessert. I love anything icy, freezing cold, and this is just insane. Sam, you have to try this. <laughs> wow. Oh, brain freeze. Bad. What do you think? That is so good. So good, right? That is really good. I love mango. Mm. So Ria's found her dessert. I've got to go and find mine now. I'm really, really in the mood for some ice cream. Okay, we found some ice cream. Um, can I get the dark chocolate? Uh, Thank you. Good? No, it's really bad. You shouldn't have any. Really? Yeah, you wouldn't like this. No, I think I would. No. Give me some. No, no, one out of ten. Give you wouldn't some. like it. Yeah, no, you God. wouldn't like it. <laughs> Give me some. You wouldn't like ever be lying. You wouldn't like it. Oh my god! Okay guys, so we have finished our street market experience here in Seoul. I've got to say, I'm not sure that Korean food is 100% to our liking. No. More likely because we've never tried it before. Yeah, it's and all it's new. very, very different to the food we've tried before. Not so much the flavours, but the textures, I think. Most things are like very kind of like a like a soggy consistency yeah, soggy. whereas we're more used to eating things that are like quite hard but i love the dumplings the dumplings are amazing so good the ice cream's amazing this is amazing and as well this shaved ice like no word of a lie is <laughs> probably one of the best desserts i've ever had and like seriously refreshing in the heat anyway guys we are going to end the vlog there we hope that you enjoyed it be sure to like comment and subscribe for future adventures across asia I did say this was a 10 out of 10, but it's got egg in it. <laughs>